What's up y'all? So today I wanted to switch things up a bit and do a video on this set that I got from Amazon. And I wanna show you how I mix and match it so I have multiple outfits. So this is the set and I'm gonna put a link to it in the description box, of course, so you can see where to get it. It's from Amazon. And let me just talk about some pros and cons. I got a medium and I typically wear about a size 8, 10 dress size. Um, and I felt like the top was too big at times. It would always fall off my shoulders. So pretty much if you get it, don't expect it to stay on your shoulders unless you like wear something underneath, which I was thinking, I did wear it out a couple times. And one of the things that I found is that if I pin the middle together with the like safety pin that you can't really see, it's okay, but throughout the night, I still had to like keep pulling it up. So that kind of gets annoying after a while. And the other option is you can wear a bandeau underneath. So, you know, that little bralette and then put that on top. That way you don't have to worry about a, you know, an oopsie. But uh, you can also wear a braless. If you're big busted, I wouldn't, I don't know. I don't know if this is the outfit for you. Maybe the bottom might fit, but the top might not. You might have to get a large or extra large, or you might want to skip out on this one. I will say I love the skirt. The skirt is my favorite thing about this outfit. So I would even get it just for the skirt. The top, you got to fool around with it, which is why when you see this video, you'll see how I was able to make more outfits with the skirt and the top, I was kind of getting frustrated and I don't have a bandeau. So I just decided, you know what, we're just gonna work with what we have. So anyway, on to the outfits. Okay, so the first mix and match outfit I was able to make was with this Skims top. And this is, I believe it's, an, it's a high neck. Let me see, it's a, so this is a fits everybody high neck skims suit or bodysuit. And the way I wore it, I didn't clip the bottom. So I feel like it's more comfortable to wear like that. And it also doesn't show the lines on the back of the skirt as much when you do that. Um, skirt, I feel that it's very forgiving. It doesn't show like crazy lines from the back. And um, I feel like it's flattering for those of us with the fupa and uh, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You can wear a shaper underneath and be okay. So this next combo is my favorite because I made the top, this top right here. So I actually made this from this pattern. So I'm an amateur sewer and I saw a pattern from this YouTuber and I'll put the link in the description box. And I kind of just added my own flavor, kind of, sort of, not really. I, I tried to follow the pattern as close as possible because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it and seeing what happens. So this is what happened, you know, I like it. Next up, I have the Zara, this is Zara top that I got last year. And um, I like this little pair. The only thing I'll say about this top is that if you move a certain way, it's gonna like expose you. So if you can, I mean, just wear a bra with it. Or I guess you can have some good pasties or even tape it to your body, whatever you would wanna do. I think it's a nice beach outfit or even cover up. And lastly, we have this salmon pink top and I got this a while back from Amazon. And I really like this. I have this in black as well and it goes with a lot. It's just generally a good, top especially because it has a built-in bra and you don't have to wear a bra with it of course um and i love pairing it with this jacket i like that you can have the you can show off your shoulders your clavicles or you can also just cover it up with a jacket a cute little jacket um whatever suits you but yeah this is the final look for the skirt which leads us to the top so this was a bit of a struggle, like I mentioned earlier, on how the top will sometimes expose you. <laughs> so the first thing I paired it with was these wide leg jeans I got from And Other Stories. And I love these jeans so much. The only thing I wanna do is take in the waist a little bit, but overall these jeans are super comfortable and I love the style. And I think they go well with this top. This mini skirt that I got a while back from Mango, I love this mini skirt, it's so comfortable. Um, and as you can see, it pairs well with 
this top. So as you can see, this top will go nicely with a wide leg jean or a high-waisted mini skirt. It can go well with a lot of things. The only thing is you wanna make sure that you get the right size. You might have to buy two sets or you wear a bandeau underneath it or you pin the inside and to cover it up. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really wanna make more content like this. Let me know what you would like to see next. If there are any outfits that you would like me to test or try from Amazon or any similar store, any store, honestly, um, definitely leave it in the description box below. And hopefully I see you back again soon. Bye.